The meaning and definition of de facto. Just a quick reminder before we begin. Continually improve your English. Click the subscribe button, the bell icon, and then all. Now, de facto. It's a Latin phrase meaning in fact, in reality. It refers to something that exists in reality, but may or may not be legally recognized. It can be used as an adjective or an adverb. Let's see first how it's used as an adjective. In the picture, we see two members of the Swiss Guard in Vatican City. Sentence example. Established in 1506, the Swiss Guard, or Papal Swiss Guard, is a small unit of Swiss soldiers responsible for the safety of the Pope, who also serve as the de facto military of Vatican City. In other words, the Swiss Guard has various duties, including ceremonial duties and protecting the Pope, and in reality, it is the military force of Vatican City. Now let's see how de facto can be used as an adverb. In the picture, we see a map of Cyprus, an island in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Sentence example. In 1974, Cyprus became de facto divided between the Turkish North and Greek South. In other words, after the Turkish army invaded Cyprus in 1974, it has become a divided island between North and South even though the northern part is not legally recognized as a separate state by most of the international community. Next, the picture shows a scene from the Get Back documentary showing the Beatles in a recording session. Sentence example. During the Get Back recording sessions, keyboard player Billy Preston became a de facto fifth member of the Beatles, making an essential contribution to their songs. In other words, although Billy Preston was not formally recognized as a permanent member of the Beatles, in reality, due to his contributions during the recording sessions, he was a fifth member of the band. So remember, de facto is a Latin phrase meaning, in fact, in reality. Use it to describe something that exists in reality, but may or may not be legally recognized. Has this video helped you? Then like, share or comment now. And build a powerful English vocabulary with my free course on Udemy. Just go to goodenglish.online.